okay guys welcome to my mathematics lesson on topic number three that will be looking at algebra and in algebra we'll be looking at sub topic which is no other than basic processes of algebra all right so we'll be looking at basic processes of algebra and this is lesson number one all right so let's go to the introduction part of the lesson all right so under introduction part we'll look at some questions that are going to help us to understand this topic in a better way so question number one reads what is algebra so you have to understand what algebra is before we we dive deep into the topic itself then question number two says what is algebraic expression or what is an algebraic expression then question number three says what is meant by the phrase basic processes of algebra all right so let's continue guys so let's look at the answers i provided for the questions okay so uh, answer to question number one says algebra is the branch of mathematics which teaches the manipulations of mathematical statements involving numbers letters and operations all right so what does it mean here guys it means that this algebra it is a branch of mathematics that teaches the manipulations of mathematical statements that involve numbers letters and operations all right eg when we look at this statement here which is three open brackets x minus y close bracket this is a mathematical statement and this mathematical statement has to be encountered when dealing with the algebra or rather these are types of mathematical statement that you encounter when you are dealing with the topic called algebra all right so let's go to answer for question number two so answer for question number two says an algebraic expression is a statement that consists of numbers letters and mathematical expressions such as division addition subtraction multiplication and brackets so now you understand what an algebraic expression is it's simply a statement that consists of numbers letters and what mathematical operations such as division addition subtraction multiplication and the brackets so even in this one itself here it's an algebraic expression because it consists of a number brackets letters and an operation which is minus here all right so in this example here we already have an algebraic expression all right so i also gave another one here where i said eg we have two x plus five x minus seven y this is an algebraic expression all right so let's go to uh, answer for question two answer for question two says basic processes of algebra is the process of manipulating algebraic expressions so when we are dealing with what we call processes of algebra or basic processes of algebra we are now looking at the processes that are involved in manipulating algebraic expressions such as this one given here what processes are involved so as you watch this video you are going to learn those processes that are involved when dealing with basic processes of algebra the processes which involves manipulations all right so for example here here we can look at this same one which we give three open brackets x minus y close bracket and we can also say 2x plus 5x minus 7y so these now according to algebraic processes 
we should know how to manipulate these to find the final answer for example i'll just give you an idea for example if you are to process this or manipulate this expression you just have to multiply this process this expression here is just telling you to say can you simplify it make it simple by multiplying three with what is inside the brackets of this expression all right so this is just a tip so let's dive deeper into the lesson all right so now let's go and look at the algebraic expression all right now we are in the topic guys algebraic expression having explained to you the definition what is involved now let's look at the algebraic expression so as already stated we are saying an algebraic expression consists of the following components what are these components variables constants coefficient terms and the operations all right so an algebraic expression must consist of variables constants coefficient terms and the operation all right so let me give you an example for you to understand what we are talking about so for example let's look at it 2x plus y minus 3 this is an algebraic expression consisting of terms consisting of variables consisting of constants consisting of operations so i am going to show which one are terms in this expression which one are coefficient which one are variables which one are operation so for example this 2x here y and 3 these are commonly known as terms they're known as terms so terms are always separated by an operation such as the addition or subtraction so these are called terms so in this algebraic expression they are three terms all right so a term like this consists of two things it consists of a two here so this two here is called a coefficient all right then it also consists of this letter here this letter here is called a variable all right including this letter here is also called a variable so why is that at the same time a term and that's at the same time a variable a variable is a letter in algebraic expression all right then this number alone here is called a constant all right so this number here to in front of a variable is called a coefficient all right and also a letter written alone here also has a coefficient which is one all right though we do not write the one in front and a number standing alone like this is also called constant it is a constant all right so uh, 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 plus this plus here and minus here are called operations we have other operations such as multiplication division addition subtraction all those are operation all right so let's continue in this wonderful wonderful lesson okay so now we are going to look at algebraic processes all right so algebraic processes involves simplification of algebraic expression algebraic processes involves simplification of algebraic expressions all right so what does it mean by the word simplification so simplification is just the process of combining like terms in the algebraic expression or in algebraic in the algebraic expressions right so the process of looking at like terms like the one i showed you the terms so when you combine them you subtract them you divide them that kind of process you are doing you are just doing the simplification all right so the aim of simplifying algebraic expression is to make them simple so that's what we do to just make them simple so in algebraic we 
teach you how to make algebraic expressions simple by simplification all right so the simplification involved in algebraic expressions or the simplification of algebraic expressions involves the following processes so number one we are talking of addition and subtraction and number two we are talking of multiplication and division number three we are talking of expansion and number four we are talking of factorization number five we are talking about the substitution so in algebra you will be doing the addition and the subtraction of algebraic expression. You'll be doing multiplication and division of algebraic expression. You'll be doing expansion of algebraic expression. You'll be doing factorization of algebraic expression. You'll be doing substitution, all right? So let's continue. Okay. So now, we are now going to look at addition and subtraction of algebraic expression all right so look at addition and subtraction of algebraic expression as one of the simplification which is involved in algebra so we'll look at examples here so we'll have example number one where we are going to have 2x plus 5x plus y minus 7y so given such an algebraic expression then they say simplify sorry let me put here simplify simply phi so if they say simplify the following algebraic expression so we have 1 2x plus 5x plus y minus 7y then in 2 we have 3x squared plus 2x plus 5y minus 2y plus 3x plus 4x squared then 3 we have 2x squared plus 3a cubed plus 4a squared minus a cubed all right so then 4 we have xy plus 6 plus 5xy minus 2xy minus seven so we have these four algebraic expressions that we are required to simplify all right so we may look at solutions now so what should be involved in simplifying for example expression number one all right since we are dealing with addition and subtraction so this expression number one just involves adding like terms together and subtracting like terms together all right so in this case you should identify terms that are alike that are alike or that are similar so we have how many terms in this algebraic expression we have one two three four we have four terms so which one are similar in this algebraic expression so you you will notice that 2x is similar to 5xy because it has a number 2x has a number 2 and the one variable x and also this other term also it has a number and one variable x so we have number and a variable x so these we call them like terms all right so now in simplifying these we are supposed to add 2x plus 5x so so in simplifying these what you do to make it simple is by just adding these numbers together since x here is likened to this x here so you simply just add the numbers 2 plus 5 which will give you 7 and then you say 7 x you put x now you put x or if this is not easy for you to understand you can just consider having how many x is here 2 and how many x is here 5 so if you add 2 x's and the 5 x's how many x's are you going to have altogether 7 x's 
then the next thing to do here is also to look at this so this y is also likened to this other y also here so remember these are terms all right so this term here which is y consists of a coefficient in front of it which is one which we do not indicate in mathematics and this y here has a coefficient which is seven so here we have in short we have one y minus seven y all right so in mathematics when you are subtracting like it is a large value from a small value you just do the normal subtraction and then return the answer the, the answer retains the sign of the bigger number. So what we do here, you just say, it's as good as saying 7y minus y. All right, then what do you get? You get 6y. In short, you have how many y's? There are 7. Then in that 7y, you remove how many y? 1. How many are you going to remain with? 6y's. Now, this one, I've just done it the opposite so that you understand that those guys, uh, some of you have got a problem in understanding subtraction of this nature. So when you are having a subtraction of this nature, where you have terms with opposite you, terms with opposite signs, so this term has a positive sign here and this term here has a negative sign here, all right? Then you say y or positive y minus 7y. Uh, this one is bigger than how can it subtract? It can. So I what I said is since the signs are opposite, what you should do to understand this subtraction is just consider getting this big value, then subtract a small value. And this is what I did. 7y minus y and I get 6 y then since this bigger value has got a negative then my final answer will retain the negative so this will be negative 6y so meaning this 6y which i've gotten by adding this is what i'm going to put here with its negative so it will be negative 6y and this expression now becomes 7x minus 6y so when you reach here again you check does it contain like terms this is a 7x and this is 6y can we continue simplifying further this expression no because the uh, variables here are not similar so you cannot add so these terms they are not likable so to say all right so you cannot simplify further so your answer ends here all right so let's go to number two so for number two again also you look at like terms you uh, peruse through these terms here how many are they one two three four five six terms all together so you peruse through the terms and when you peruse through the terms what you are now going to do is now you should now look at it the terms that are similar so when you look at this you have 3x squared which has 3 and the x squared as a term you look for another term with x squared so you have this so you have this and this so these are like it or are like terms these are like terms so what you should do now is add them all right so as i said again it, uh, it is as good as you also having like this one like 3x squared you add them plus 4x squared so what i said if you are a person who finds adding this difficult i said just get this x since it is common Put it there aside in advance then you add three plus four you get what seven then put a seven here all right so you have added this now all right so 
that's what we are going to do so here we are going to collect like terms together we'll put these terms together and then add them so we'll say three x squared plus this one so you carry the sign in front so this 4x has a plus in front so which means that this plus is for 4x so you carry together with this sign here so it will be plus 4x squared all right then you look at other terms that are also alike so you have uh, 2x here and also 3x here so you carry the positive together here so you say plus 2x and here you carry together with the sign plus 3x then the remaining one are 5 y and what negative 2y so you carry this one together with a positive positive 5y then you carry also this one negative 2y all right then now you begin adding as i told you now here so you just pick this one you write it once then you say 3 plus 4 which will give you 7 x squared then plus uh you add this this 2x plus 3x it will give you 5x then here so simple it is just 5y minus 2y you have y's which are 5 then in that y which are 5 you take away 2y's how many are you going to remain with you remain with 3y and this will be positive all right Okay, so your answer will be uh, 7x squared plus 5x plus 3y. Now, you also check if you can further simplify this by also um, checking whether you have like terms here. But when you check here, you have x here and x here. Are they like? No, they are not. This is x squared and this is just x. So this cannot be simplified further. So you should end here. All right. So let's go to question number three. Question number three, which is 2x plus 3x. I mean 2, 2a squared plus 3a cubed plus 4a squared. All right. This is cubed, no, cubic. All right so 2a squared plus 3a cubic plus 4a squared minus 3 3 minus a cubic sorry for that uh, mumbling all right so here now also you look for like terms so you find the 2x squared is like it to a to 4a squared all right so you put them together so you send 2a squared plus you pick together with a plus 4a squared then what are you remaining with you are remaining with 3a cubic minus a cubic so you pick also together with a sign so you say plus 3a cubic plus or minus a cubic then also you add so as i said just add these in front then you retain the uh, uh variable so you say 2 plus 4 which is 6 then you retain the variable which will be 6a squared so it will be equals 6a squared then this one also you have 3a cubic minus a cubic so you have 3 Q a cubic so then you take away one cubic what are you going to remain you are going to remain with the two a cubic which will be positive so plus two a cubic all right so you check again whether you can simplify this further no you cannot simplify this one further so your answer stays as it is so you go to four again for you we will check which one are like it all right so what you are going to look to see you are going to see that uh, x y is likened to which one negative 2 x y all right 
so you pick this so you say x y then this one you pick with a minus minus 2x y then what is remaining also is this one is like it to nothing here so you just pick plus uh, 5 z y then you have these are numbers you have one, six and the seven these are like terms that are both numbers so you say you pick you carry together with the sign so you say plus six then this one with the sign minus seven all right then you manipulate equals so you are going to say x y minus two x y just as i told you it is as good as now doing it in the opposite way you say 2xy minus xy then that answer that you should get should retain the sign of this bigger number because now you are going in reverse all right so uh 2xy minus xy it will give us xy now it will that xy it will have a negative all right so what I'm saying here is now you pick it in this way. You say 2xy minus xy. So what I'm saying here is that if you have 2xy, a bunch of 2xy, then in that bunch of 2xy, you take away just one bunch of xy how many are you going to remain in that two you take away one bunch you remain with one bunch which will be x y so you remain with x y now since you were doing it in reverse you put negative you get negative so it will be negative x y then this one stays the same five z y Then this one is also the same. Instead of saying 6 minus 7, you take it in the other way around. You say 7 minus 6. What do you get? 1. You get 1. However, what you are going to do now here is since you have reversed the process and this is not how it is. So your answer which is one should get a negative all right so it will be negative one now in mathematics we are not comfortable of leaving a, a a term with a negative hanging like this we always push a term with a negative inside so we'll say equals so we we'll get this term with a positive in front we'll say five x z y then minus this term now will go inside x y minus one all right so guys this is how we do it so what we have just done here is simplifying uh addition and algebraic expression so we have done addition and the subtraction of algebraic expression so let's go and see what you i have for you you have homework guys you can do these questions which are here all right so guys we have come to the end of this lesson thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this lesson guys give it a like comment in the section whatever you want to comment about this video please but if you haven't yet subscribed remember to subscribe guys all right thank you for watching and i love you see you in the next video and please peace